Hey everyone. So uh, after like 749 days, I am heading overseas and this time it will be to Muscat, Oman uh, and it uh, it will be via Dubai and I have my flight in uh, like tonight. So that will be around uh, that will be around at 9.45 tonight. So I just packed up everything and looking back at the last uh, last time I flew this route, uh, Ever since that time, it has been one hell of a, one heck of a, a crazy ride, and uh, uh, it has been so frustrating and it has been so uncertain uh, um, with uh, with you know what going on. And uh, um, I'm just happy that I'll be flying again, but uh, this time I have uh, some unc uncertainties in my mind. So uh, that is like uh, the borders can be closed at any time, and I don't want to be stuck. Uh, or stranded overseas so uh, because of that uh, um, uh, I um, I have an apartment here in uh, in Olangong so I just packed uh, I spent the whole day uh, uh, last night I mean I, I started at like 10 o'clock in the and I, and 9 o'clock in the morning and I finished at 1 a.m. in the night and I packed up everything in my house and just in case uh, the borders are closed uh, like that of the levels in 2020 um, we don't know yet, so uh, it's a bit risky to uh, to go overseas. But uh, but anyway, uh, I have everything packed just in case of a uh, unexpected lockdown uh, or uh, or the border border closures in the future. So uh, anyway, with all that uh, being said, uh, we're just ready to uh, go to, go uh, and fly, and uh, I'm so excited to be to be in the skies again, and. Uh, 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 my flight is at 9:45 p.m. tonight, and this is uh, around 1 1:20 now. And I'll be on on my way to Sydney. And uh, from that, from Sydney, uh, I have some uh, I have some work there. And after my work is done, I will uh, either catch a Uber or a uh, train to the airport. Uh, I'll see you in the airport. Uh, hope you enjoy my journey, and hope you follow me. Thank you. Welcome, uh, welcome to Sydney Airport. And we are here after like two two years. Uh, we are back to the airport, and we have a very very uh, big flight in, in ahead of us. So let's uh, uh, let's go to the airport and find our flight and check in. But uh, in the meantime, we'll I'll keep you updated on what the documents and all required for the uh, uh, for this one. So uh, hope you enjoy enjoy my journey. It's so it, it feels so great to come back come back to the airport and so we are here at the uh, departure gate in in sydney international airport so let's go and have a look at the uh, at the flight try to find out where uh, emirates is so let's have a look hi a reminder that face masks must be worn at all times once in the terminal we appreciate your cooperation in keeping the Sydney Airport perfectly safe. There you go. I found I found where I'm going to. So let's have a, let's enjoy our flight. It is uh, they have to Singapore, uh, Vancouver, Seoul, Abu Dhabi, uh, Los Angeles, Dubai, and, uh, and all the places there. So we are at the airport now and we have just passed the uh, immigration and customs and everything and I checked in and everything so uh, I just want to talk to you about the uh, process of uh, uh, travel during the COVID so uh, because of COVID the, uh, it, is, it, is, it is very uh, subjective and, uh, and, and, uh, and a lot of countries have a lot of uh, uh, issues, uh, uh, regulations and everything so it's it's best to uh, it's best to uh, check in with the uh, check the, uh, check in with the country that you're going to. Uh, myself, uh, I'm going to Oman uh, tonight, and so uh, depending on Oman, uh, Oman. So Omani uh, um, regulation was I had to have a uh, RT-PCR test done before the uh, before three days. So I just got it done like day before yesterday, and I had the test uh, test uh, go to me yesterday night. Uh, so that that's all right, and and the second thing is, I'm, uh, and you have to show a uh, vaccination certificate, and that will be at least two doses of any any uh, any of the um, any of the vaccine that you uh, uh, that is uh, approved, 
and the other thing is like you have to uh, you have to have a some countries have a uh, pre-entry uh, registration form uh, for you. Uh, so I just had to uh, um, uh, register with the Ministry of Health in Oman, and uh, they they asked they asked right before the uh, right before I checked in. Uh, if I don't have any of the document, I, I'll be I'll be denied. And I think I think so. Luckily, I had I had everything, and and I, I was in. And apart from that, the check-in check-in process was straightforward, and uh, it's like it's it's pretty much uh, like before the COVID days. So uh, it's alright. So. Uh, um, it is it is like um, getting back to normal and hopefully it will be it will be like in a, in, in a couple of years or something it will be all right so uh, let's have a, let's have a uh, let's have a round of plane spotting or and I, i'll just i'll just uh, uh, check in check it if, if i can have a launch uh, from my uh, for me i think i don't have it yet but uh, let's see let's have a look let's have a look around the launch and, and the airport i'll show you around uh, there she is, the Super Jumbo. Uh, I have been tracking her whole uh, whole of yesterday, and I, I just can't uh, I just can't uh, wait to get in, uh, get get with her and and enjoy the flight to Dubai.
Kevin Kruper per fa lenni. Partnership with Qantas. We hope you enjoyed your flight and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Good morning. 